it's Simon from High Plane Games with a review of Timber Tennis Versus. This is a follow-on from the Timber Man games, which is where you got your lumberjack and you smack left and right on your keyboard or your controller so that you would uh, chop down wood from a tree. And as you was going so fast with the button mashing, you needed to make sure that you didn't die by spanking your head on a branch that was coming your way. Very simple gameplay, highly competitive when you've got four people doing it online. Timber Tennis Versus tries to take that dynamic and move it into a tennis format and they've divided the court up into five different lanes and you press left and right to kind of quickly hop between those lanes and then bat the ball back and forth for your tennis rally. The first two five, seven or nine points then wins the game and that's all there is to it. Very simple in terms of gameplay. The issue with this is that they've added in some extra stuff and they've oversimplified the actual game mechanic so that it means that the game feels almost like it's more around bad luck rather than ga bad ba gad bane play? Bad gameplay. Get your words out, Simon. That um, means that when you lose the game it feels like it was unfair against you rather than you actually playing poorly. The first reason why I say this is that the ball itself seems to be random number generated in whatever lane it's going to go to. You might think that you're batting in a certain direction, but hell knows where that ball is going. And that's a bit of an issue because it means that you aren't necessarily playing precisely or tactically. The second issue is that they've then added in power-ups because clearly people were having endless rallies till the end of time because there is no like a huge difficulty once you've worked out that as long as you don't stay on the end lanes all the time you can get to where you need to go to if you're in the middle three. So they've added in these power-ups and there's a variety of different ones and they randomly spawn and it just depends on what you get and then if you chuck through a couple of bombs, say, that will limit you to not being able to actually use a couple of those lanes. Random number generator comes along and the ball ends up in that lane, it's game over for you and you lose that point. At no point during any of that experience do I feel like it's really down to my skill that I've won or that I've lost. And so it feels too random number generate in terms of the difficulty level and who's winning and who's losing, except for those times when you completely have a brain fart and it does happen and then you lose a point. But it's almost like they've pushed it so far to that nth degree because it's not going around a, a massive set speed because the, the gameplay is not fast enough to kind of make you go ah and freak out. It feels really, really stilted and strange. Um, I didn't find it enjoyable. I didn't find it enjoyable in local player. I didn't find it enjoyable online, although I'm pleased to say that there was no lag in any of the games that I had. And the single player mode, the AI, depending on which level of difficulty you go for, basically gives up trying to bat back after a set amount of battles, uh, of back and forth in your rally. So yeah, super stilted, and I didn't really find it enjoyable at all. Outside of that, as you do play the games, you do slowly build up currency, which allows you to unlock different types of timbermen and different types of balls. They don't necessarily act or behave any differently, it's all cosmetic. But uh, it's there if you want to pursue it and continue on. I have to say, I bought it for £1.60 and um, I've not enjoyed it or tend to really go back to it at all. It's too easy to be a competitive multiplayer game, too frustrating and random for it to really be considered a jewel in the crown to pop out with. So yeah, I'll be going back to chopping down trees. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you're still interested, it's out now on all major platforms. Doodles! This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.